Spinal adjustments provided by Dr. Chad Rolfson. The Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center is a Des Moines area low flat fee per month unlimited chiropractic care practice. When life happens, just adjust. Schedule today at SpinalTuning.com. Welcome to the Gospel Road. Good weekend. It was a warm one today. I was going to mention something the other day. A friend of mine shared with me a movie they saw on one of the apps. I think it was Tubi. Not, Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Tubi. So I'm sure all of you have heard of, well, maybe not all of you, but many of you. I will admit I've watched all of them. <laughs> but um, Sharknado. You know, they had, uh, I think it's five or six. I can't remember. It was always They were always uh, showing them on sci-fi. And then the radio station I worked at, there was uh, one of the stations, the morning show there, actually kind of kicked in a pretty good relationship with one of the directors, writers. I I can't remember exactly because they had interviewed him. And so in one of the last ones, they actually did some work for, for the movie. But anyway... They saw a movie, and I'm serious. I have not looked this up to see how serious it is, to even see what it's about. But it's a movie called Clown Nato. Yeah, Clown Nato. So I don't know if it's, you know, a tornado of sh- clowns, kind of like the tornado of sharks. Sometimes I look at movies and I really go, where do they think of these ideas? But then, it, like, there was another one that I watched. A few months ago, I think I watched it on Amazon. It was called Velocipaster. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting. And you could tell uh, it was a bunch of friends that kind of got together and filmed it in their backyard. (laughs) Which I will admit, I've even been part of a movie like that myself, too, a few years ago. But, uh, you know, it just (laughs) says that we can do many things. We just have to believe in ourselves. We need to find those that believe in us. And again, that's not always the easiest. Even when people are, you know, giving us the encouragement or the praise. And then I know a lot of people that are in the entertainment business, that deal with movies, that are actors, they're even in radio. It's sometimes they're always looking for, even artists that perform. In fact, going back to when we were having the conversation yesterday and I had watched the Russ Taff, I still believe the documentary on his life where you're dealing with shame. You're dealing with not feeling good enough. And again, it doesn't matter how many people are around you. Those feelings can be there and it's hard to fight them. It's hard to wrestle with them. But then, you know, you watch movies that can give you the inspiration, the motivation that it's the underdog. I just was watching Ready Player One this afternoon. I'd seen it before. Got together with some friends to uh, see it and look for all the Easter eggs in the movie. So... It's a, it was on, so I watched that and then uh, watched a couple other ones. I haven't really done a lot today. We had rain this morning. I wasn't able to get out and do the mowing, the yard work um, that I usually try to do on Sunday just because it's really the day that I can get it done. Um, but we'll figure it out. I mean, again, plans do change a little bit. You try to figure things out. But, you know, again, watching that and... Even watching a, a movie earlier today uh, called Unlocked. But again, it's that underdog. And really, when they are given the right tools, they believe in themselves. They can pretty much do anything. And I was really kind of watching the one movie Unlocked this morning. And of course, uh, an action movie about a terrorist organization trying to do something with a biological weapon. And then they came up with the title Medical Martial Law, which, yeah, 
<laughs> looked at the last 90 days, I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Very odd. We're going to look at Ephesians 6 today, but I mean, wherever you are, you know, remember, it's about really being the best that you can. I mean, I, it's the conversation I have with myself every day. Is it easy? No, absolutely not. But it's still pushing forward and still trying to do the best that you can to be the best, to really strive for that. Even when you hear those voices, not giving in to them, finding what you can to combat those so you're able to continue and keep pushing on. I hope that uh, you are doing well today and having a better day if you haven't had a, a good few days. But always remember that. Pressing on, moving forward, being the best. You know, being better today than you were yesterday, being better tomorrow than you are today. Learning, educating, always digging to put things into your mind and, you know, making yourself healthy body, mind, and soul. All right, Ephesians 6. It says, Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. Mother, This is the first commandment with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ, not by the way of eye service as people pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from your heart, rendering service with a good will as to the Lord and not to man, knowing that whatever good anyone does, this he will receive back from the Lord, whether he is a bondservant or is free. Masters, do the same to them and stop your threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven and that there is no partiality with him. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and put on, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints and also for me, that words may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, that I may declare it boldly and I ought to speak, so that you also may know how I am and what I am doing Tysias, the brother, beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, will tell you everything. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are, and that he may encourage your hearts. Peace be to the brothers, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with love incorruptible. Ephesians 6. Honor. Working with honor. Being the best that you can be. Not only working for you know, your job, whoever you're working for, but then also those 
in higher positions being good to those that are working for them. So it doesn't matter if you're a worker bee or if you're a manager or you're a supervisor. It's doing the best that you can and treating each other with respect. You know, we see at the beginning is talking about, you know, children obeying their parents, honoring their parents, but then again, not provoking your children to anger. Okay. And then in the next one, you also hear about, you know, masters not threatening, you know, that my way or the highway thing. You know, we are in this together, working together. Encouraging, motivating, and inspiring one another. We're trying to get people to be the best that they can be. Not beat them down to feel like garbage. To feel like trash. It's helping them to really succeed. Because if you are a manager or a supervisor, some sort of you know person in a superior position... Those on your team, you should want them to succeed because if they succeed, you look good. It helps you look. I mean, let's be honest. You read any of the books when it comes to management, it's who you surround yourself with. It's finding people that can do the job better than you. Even dealing with family at home, with parents, it's encouraging, it's helping one another to really grow and to become that person, that the best that they can be. We're all trying. We all have obstacles that get thrown in our way in one way or another. Something that we do to ourselves, something that somebody else throws in, in front of us. And it doesn't make things easy. So then we have to push extra hard. We have to focus more. And it gets frustrating. It gets to where you almost want to just give up because you don't feel that it's worth it. But you do not want to. You don't want to give up. You want to keep moving forward, keep pressing on. I've given up so many times in my life that I didn't want to go any farther. But then at the same time, I still kept pushing on. And yeah, I could probably be a lot farther than where I am, but I didn't. I made decisions. And we have to live with those decisions, whatever they may be, on how we are trying to deal with things, trying to take care of things. But just because something has happened in your past does not mean it's going to give that answer for you in the future yeah it's not that at all you don't live by your past it's there to teach you it's there to you know remind you and not even a remind but again this is where you came from but you keep wanting to to move forward and do the best that you can to be the best that you can be. Know you have those guidelines because things that have happened and, you know, again, you learn from your mistakes to hopefully not repeat them again. And I say hopefully not repeat them again because I'm not saying that it doesn't happen and you don't trip up again because you can. You know, you can always have that one thing that you're trying to really overcome and it makes it very hard to do so. I mean, there was a a thing that I was reading, and I I don't agree with the statement 100%, but it says, success is not being normal. Success is being crucified. I'm not going to share with the person who said it, because like I said, I don't agree with that 100%, because I do agree that success is not being normal, because I think success is encouraging people and helping others, being there, being that good Samaritan. And you know, that's not normal, because that's not how the average person is. I don't believe that success is being crucified. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't those that have ended up with success that, you know, haven't had their day to where, you know, people are coming at them. But I don't think that's the way to look at it. Now, the success not being normal, absolutely, but it's remembering to love. 
Yeah, I've sh- shared it before and I've said it before. You know, love God. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. It's that unconditional love. It's being there to help people be the best that they can be because you're trying to encourage them. You're trying to motivate them. You're trying to inspire them. And that's not something that's very normal. I mean, the last two words in Ephesians 6, it says love incorruptible. That incorruptible love, that unconditional love that you're sharing, that compassion that you're trying to, again, help others be the best that you can, they can be, I can be. But then also not beating myself up because of the failures and the things that have happened in my life, holding them against myself. You know, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. It's a journey. And this is something we will always have to deal with and always be dealing with through life. It doesn't just go away tomorrow. But you can be stronger tomorrow to be able to deal with it and handle it as you keep moving forward. You know, really do the best that you can to help others, to help yourself be the best that you can be, to get that team around you that support staff that support team that those people that really are going to encourage you and motivate you and inspire you and then you give the same back you encourage and motivate them to help them because as you're trying to be better today than you were yesterday they should be doing the same thing always growing to be better always learning be the best that you can be in every way Body, mind, and spirit. Take care of yourself. Body, mind, and spirit. It's a huge responsibility. To take something from Spider-Man and Stan Lee, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. I mean, it's a great power if you think about it because you're dealing and taking care of yourself and there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. Just like being a parent. That's a lot of power. And with great power comes great responsibility. Opening a business, taking a management role. It's great power. And with that great power, great responsibility. It's a really wild way of thinking about that. It just actually popped in my head, but it's true. You know, again, as we're really trying to help and and be the best that we can be and and not poking the bear. I will not deny that I am not. (laughs) I've not done that many times and still do. I get a lot of friends that do that. But that is provoking. But at the same time, it's also, you know, not threatening. Do this or else. My way or the highway. I mean, you have to find ways to really encourage and people to do things. And it's not always through a way of hate or tough love. However you want to describe that, the word you want to use. Because sometimes they can feel pretty much about the same. Depending on how someone's treating you. Because if they're treating you bad enough, they might say that they love you, but it doesn't feel like it. I know because I felt it. Ephesians 6, read that today. What does it say to you? How does it help you? How does it help you encourage and motivate yourself? How does it help you encourage and motivate others? Read that today. Again, I'm not saying you need to believe what the scriptures say about God. I'm not asking for that. I'm just asking that you look at the responsibility to live together, to love one another. The moral part of this, we have that free will. We choose, we decide what we believe. 
I'm not here to tell you what to. I'm here to share what I believe. And and again, I I read through these and go, this is what kind of hits me as I'm reading this stuff. Yeah, again, I don't really share a lot of the... I mean, you, you again, you know how I believe and what I believe. But by no means, I certainly hope you don't think that I'm trying to shove anything down your throat because I'm not. I'm just looking at these pieces. You know, don't provoke your kids. Don't threaten those that you are supervising. Work together. Be a team. Help one another. It's the in corruptible love unconditional love help each other be the best that they can be yourself to be the best that you can be personally and professionally taking care of yourself body mind and soul Ephesians 6 thank you for listening to the gospel road have a great day God bless Spinal adjustments provided by Dr. Chad Rolfson. The Spinal Tuning Chiropractic Center is a Des Moines area low flat fee per month unlimited chiropractic care practice. When life happens, just adjust. Schedule today at SpinalTuning.com.